Do not make the mistake of spending thousands of dollars to stay at a Magic Kingdom Disney Resort on an adults only or seniors vacation, only later to regret your choice of resort, only later to not have as good an experience as you hoped and expected, and only to learn after your return that there are better options for you amongst Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts where you could have stayed and have a much better vacation. And perhaps you stayed at only one or two of the four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts and wanted to learn if perhaps there was a better option for you on your next adults only or seniors trip to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. In this new series of videos, our aim is to help you choose wisely on those aspects of staying at a Disney Deluxe Resort in the Magic Kingdom area on an adults only or seniors vacation. Hi, I'm Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. Our goal is to help you save your money and time on an adult travel adventure. This video is part one of a four part series comparing in detail the four Disney Deluxe Resorts in the Magic Kingdom area. But before we start, let's remind ourselves quickly just what are the four Disney Deluxe Resorts which are referred to as the Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts. There's Disney's Contemporary Resort, the very first Disney Resort at Walt Disney World, along with now the Disney Vacation Club's Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort. There's Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, along with its Disney Vacation Club's villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. There's Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, which includes Disney Vacation Clubs, Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. And the fourth is Disney's Wilderness Lodge, which includes Disney Vacation Clubs, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas. This series of videos compares in detail different aspects between these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts important to adults and seniors from an adult and seniors perspective. First, what do these four Disney resorts have in common? Each of these four resorts has both a hotel portion and a Disney Vacation Club portion, has been refurbished or renovated in the past three years, have their own collection of great table service and quick service restaurants, have that famous great Disney service and attention to detail, are located close to the Magic Kingdom theme park and is located next to a lake. Yet with all those similarities, if you look closely, each of these four Disney resorts are very different in ways that can significantly impact the difference between a fair, a good, or a great adults only or seniors vacation at Walt Disney World. Now, briefly, let's review what adults and seniors want from a Disney resort when they are on an adults only vacation. We know that in some ways it is different from when vacationing with children and teenagers at Walt Disney World, right? At the Disney Resort, us adults and seniors want the resort to have a relaxing atmosphere and a tranquil environment where we adults can relax both inside and outside the resort's buildings during the day and in the evenings. We want the resort to have plenty of dining options with great menu offerings and lounges. We want easy access from the resort to other areas of Walt Disney World. It is important to us adults and seniors that our needs are met at the most magical place on earth, not just for that of kids and teens. With that out of the way, let's start on our detailed comparison. The first part will compare different objective aspects of these four Disney resorts that can impact how adults and seniors enjoy our stay at the resort. Typically, the types of things that are mostly fact-based, like how large the resort is or how many pools it has. There will be a high-level summary chart at the end of each part. So if you are in a hurry to make your own or to have your travel agent make your reservation at one of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts, you could fast forward to the last chapter or section in each of these four videos in this series, including this one. Yet, we will suggest you go through each video to have a better grasp of the details, the discussion, the insider tips along the way that will help you be confident in your choice of which Magic Kingdom Disney Resort is best for you and your specific wants and needs. As a quick reminder, those four Disney Magic Kingdom Resorts and the colors we will use to represent them are as follows. Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower in dark blue, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa in orange, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort in dark green, and Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas all together in light blue. 
In our first chart, we will look at one measure for how large each resort is, because frequently, the smaller the resort, the more relaxing, intimate, and tranquil a time adults and seniors will experience during their stay. In this bar chart, we have three sets of columns. The first set on the right is a total number of rooms at each resort. Of this total, the middle set of bars indicates how many of these are hotel rooms, and the collection of bars on the right are the number of Disney Vacation Club units at each of the four resorts. Notice that Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower have the largest total number of guest rooms at approximately 1,061, slightly more than the approximately 1,023 guest rooms at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And that is an approximate number, as Disney has a policy of not publishing the exact number of hotel rooms at its resorts. I asked. Disney's Contemporary Resort also has the largest number of Disney Vacation Club units at approximately 428. And this is important because many of the DVC units are not just studios, but can be one, two, or even three bedrooms large, which can accommodate up to 12 guests in those three bedroom villas. So the more DVC units, the busier the Disney Resort will be. And thus, everything else being equal, the less tranquil and relaxing for us adults and seniors during our stay. The resort with the fewest guest rooms at approximately 786 units is Disney's Wilderness Lodge, combined with its two DBC resorts being Copper Creek and Boulder Ridge Villas. Based on this comparison, we would give the nod to Disney's Wilderness Lodge as having but the potential for more relaxing, intimate, and tranquil setting and stay by adults and seniors inside and outside the resort buildings. Next, what about the number of guest buildings at each resort? The fewer number of buildings at the resort, the easier it typically is for adults and seniors to navigate within the resort, especially during the rainy season and the high temperatures and high humidity of a central Florida summer, as well as for those adults and seniors with any mobility challenges. In this second chart, then, we see clearly that Disney's Polynesian Village Resort has the most guest room buildings at 12, with Disney's Wilderness Lodge and Contemporary Resorts having only three. As we scroll by the listing of each guest building for each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts, for this individual objective criteria, we would give the nod then for adults and seniors to stay at these two latter Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. What about swimming pools? Absolutely, relaxing by or in a swimming pool can be part of what adults and seniors like when on vacation anywhere. Let's take a quick look. At this next chart then, we see once again the collection of bars on the left indicating the same number of total estimated guest rooms for each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. On the right is the number of total estimated guest rooms at each resort divided by the number of swimming pools at each resort. Notice that on the right, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa has the largest number of guest rooms for each of its swimming pools, whereas Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Towers has the lowest number of guest rooms for each of its three swimming pools. By this measure, using the swimming pools at Disney's Contemporary Resort, everything else being equal, would offer a more relaxing and tranquil experience. Yet, that is not the only measure we have available to us when it comes to swimming pools. Leisure swimming pools are what Disney calls its quiet pools for its resorts. These are swimming pools with no water slides and usually no children's water play areas. Leisure pools are meant for adults and seniors to have the most tranquil, intimate, and relaxing experience. In this next chart, then, the same total number of guest rooms for each resort is on the left, whereas on the right is the number of guest rooms for each leisure or quiet pool at the resort. What is apparent at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa has no orange bar on the right. That is because it has no leisure pool. The other three Magic Kingdom Disney resorts have one leisure pool each. So Disney's Wilderness Lodge, having the fewest total estimated guest rooms amongst these four resorts, would win in this objective measure to offer seniors and adults with the most relaxing and tranquil stay. As a side note, if you're finding this comparison between the four Disney Magic Kingdom resorts interesting or useful for you, please do click the thumbs up icon at this time. Thanks very much. On to restaurants at the resorts comparison. 
Having a wide variety of dining options located at the resort helps adults and seniors like us have a relaxing and memorable resort stay. In this next chart then, once again, we have the same four bars on the left showing the estimated total number of guest rooms at these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. On the right is the total number of guest rooms for each of the resort's on-site restaurants. The lower the bar, the fewer number of a resort's estimated guest rooms for each of its resorts, meaning on its own merit, that would be easier to get a dining reservation even at the last minute at the resort's restaurants and thus helping for a more relaxing stay at the resort. By this objective measure, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa is the clear winner. This is because of the large number of restaurants at this resort, much more than at any other Magic Kingdom Disney Resort and, to be fair, more than any individual Disney Resort at Walt Disney World itself. Yet, another objective metric regarding a resort's restaurants needs to be considered, that being the number of restaurants at each resort that guests staying at the resort have inside or covered access to during their stay. For this metric, guests staying at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort have zero options because only one of its guest buildings could be considered adjacent to the resort's main ceremonial house and it only has several suites, so a very tiny percentage of resort guests would have covered or inside access to the wonderful restaurants in the main ceremonial building. Now at face value, it would appear that Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa is tied for the most restaurants with inside and or covered access for its resort guests. As well, the Villas a Disney Vacation Club building also offers covered walking access to Grand Floridian's main building, yet, the vast majority of resort guests would have to walk between their building where they're staying and the main resort building. So in this metric, Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower would be the winner, offering the most resort restaurants with inside or covered access to its resort guests. As we scroll through all of the inside access restaurants for each Magna Kingdom Disney Resort, see if you can spot your favorite. Even if you dine at the restaurant when you're not staying at the resort. Our next and last objective metric is having easy access from the resort to other parts of Walt Disney World. With this metric, Disney's Wilderness Lodge has the fewest options as it does not have a Disney monorail stop, nor can you walk to any other part of Walt Disney World with the exception of the campgrounds at Disney's Fort Wilderness. We have Disney's Polynesian Village Resort as a neutral for walking to other parts of Walt Disney World. True, you can walk from Disney's Poly to the main transportation hub, yet before the construction of the new DVC Tower at the resort, guests staying here could walk to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa and then on to Magic Kingdom Theme Park, but that was a good 25 to 30 minutes. So for this objective comparison, both Disney's Contemporary and Grand Floridian Resorts would be the winner. We have now arrived at our resort comparison scorecard for the objective-based aspects comparing these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. Our scorecard shows that Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower would be preferred with four metrics having a green shaded metric indicating a top ranking with only one red shaded metric indicating a relatively poor metric performance. Disney's Wilderness Lodge would be second with three green and one red shaded metric. What do you think based on these seven objective metrics? Did our results surprise you? Let us know in the comments or start or add to a discussion over on the Disney for Seniors Facebook group where you will find other Disney adults and Disney seniors. In part two of this four part series comparing the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts, we will cover a topic very important to adults and seniors and one for which we have seen very little by the way of detailed analysis that being the cost to stay at each of these four Disney resorts. There are many different options when it comes to size, view, and location of guest rooms, and their impacts on the cost to stay at each of these four Walt Disney World Disney resorts. We will tackle this head on for you from many different angles. Be sure to share this video with your friends, neighbors, and fellow fans of staying at Walt Disney World, as part two I think will be very enlightening for you and for them. Here then is both a playlist 
containing all of our reviews of Disney results for adults and seniors, which go into much more detail about each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts, as well as others, as well as a video for you from our at Nandan Travel YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you are new to us and hit the notification bell as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.